Hey everybody, it's Diamond Elize. I am back with another video. Today's video, I am going to be making strawberry shortcake and Oreo covered berries. Before we get into this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for me. You will need Oreos, strawberries, strawberry shortcake crumble, which I got mine from Yum Crumbs, but a lot of people also home make them. So if you want to look up videos for that, you can. Uh, you'll need two picks. I only had screwers, so you can use those too. Chocolate containers to melt the chocolate and containers to catch the crumbs. You're going to start with freshly washed strawberries. Um, you don't want your strawberries to be wet when you start working with this. So let them dry on a paper towel and wipe them off. Ham, uh, wipe them one by one so they can be as dry as they can. Now y'all can see I am inserting the screwer through the top of the strawberry. Be sure to move the leaves out the way so they won't be dipped when you start dipping your strawberry in chocolate. To melt the chocolate, I will be using my Pyrex measuring cup. The brand of chocolate I'm using is the Wilton brand. I don't recommend this brand, but this is all I had on hand. So do what you will with that information. I am putting this mixture in the microwave for two minutes. I am stirring it every 30 seconds to ensure it does not burn. Another not so secret ingredient for silky smooth chocolate is coconut oil. A little goes a long way. Too much will result in a runny chocolate. You do not want that. This is the coconut oil I'm using. I'll put a picture of the coconut oil I usually use, but I feel like they all work the same. I just prefer one over the other. This is without the coconut oil. Um, I could have put it in the microwave a little longer, but it's very much so melted. So let me show you with the coconut oil. This is me about to put the coconut oil in. This is how much I'm using. You don't want to use a lot. I'm telling y'all, it will be oily. You will not like the outcome. Um, and basically, this is what it is with the coconut oil. It's time to dip. Make sure you pull up that excess leaf. I say excess leaf. Make sure you pull up that stem so you won't get it in the chocolate. I make sure to shake off the excess chocolate at the end to avoid it being a big runny mess. Then I shake the crumbs onto the berry without a container to catch the excess crumbs. It does get messy, so I do recommend putting parchment paper down or napkins down or whatever you have. So I'm going to repeat this process until I finish covering six strawberries in total. I'm doing 12 for me. So...
It's time for the Oreos. I threw some Oreos in my food processor for a few seconds. You can also use a blender if you would like. The same thing we did with the strawberry shortcake crumble is the same thing we're going to do with the Oreo. Um, it's no different. So this is my end result. I have both flavors on this plate right now. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And tell me. Let me know what other videos you want to see. Because I'll get them done for you. <laughs>